Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Marty, he got a 16 inch telescope. Oh, this is a UFO going by two stars, by the way. So Marty's gonna join in the search for life out there. We're not alone. As he says in his next video, as you guys will see, um, he has an amazing video coming up. I'm not gonna tell you guys uh, what's in the video, but I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to Carefree Observatory and I have the link up at the end of this video so that you guys can follow the build. This is a real speed without any zoom um, at my furthest setting. I wanna show you guys something. We're gonna talk about different characteristics. That's always helping us understand what we're seeing in the sky. Because many tell me, rule out everything and that everything's a satellite. Look at the speed of this object. And again, look at, notice the twinkling of the stars are at normal pace and speed. I'm not trying to trick you by slowing down the image. I'm trying to, which would be easy. I'm not going to hide it. But the, this object is either further away, obviously. It's smaller or bigger. And it always, it always comes down to the distance, right? The, for the ratio and scale and size, depending on where it is. But aside from that, it's going from east to west. And it's very, very um, far away or small if you want, but it is going ever so slow. Did you know that there are other objects that go three times as slow as this object? The speeds of some of these objects are completely different to one another. Watch this, speaking of characteristics. We say flaring can be caused, again, I'm not gonna hide it. Satellites, flaring is supposedly caused by the sun. Just, you know, refraction of light, that simple. So I started analyzing these flashes of light that I've been getting, and I came to one that was ever so bright that it blinded me while I was looking through my camera. And I want you guys to see exactly the size it was, and that's nothing. It's starting to answer me, you know? I am I got my lasers, I, I'm talking to it, I, I'm, you know, trying to connect spiritually, the whole kit and caboodle if you want, okay? Look at what happens, it just, it's interacting with me, it's slowing down, there are more and more coming around. Watch the light. Here are two UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena, following each other in the dead of the night. Here's one of the closest ones I got. You see, this is so bloody close over my house and slowed down as compared to the far away small ones I'm getting. Never the same characteristics. In 2018, chemtrails are being sprayed over what looks like asteroids in lower Earth's orbit. I've seen three or four of them. They were all approximately the same time. This object is massive. You could see the, the, the spherical form to it. You could see the intense heat fire in it. There's smoke around it, which could be a different wavelength, of course, what our eyes are not seeing. And there's that chemtrail line going right through it. 
Now, those of you following the past few years, the weather patterns and everything that's going on, but we're experiencing a major shift in weather patterns on Earth, whether it be a, the tilt, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that come into consideration, but this is very, very real. And the size on the left of that is, is at least four, five, six times the size of the star, which was very bright on the right. And do you all remember when the stars started flaring? Check this out. You have to have a really good eye to see this. There's a light following that UFO on the bottom. And look on the top, a very, very slow, and I mean really slow object. It's traveling left. The opposite, this one right here, just along that star there, or close in the proximity of the star, you have seen lights again flashing around um, the unidentified flying object on the right. Again, this is over top of my house, right over my head. to the right of the unidentified flying object there. An object literally appeared beside it. Coincidence or not? I tend to think each of us observe one another. We try to impress one another.
Thanks for being there, Clyde Laws. I'm